Three and two Gallia Academy Blue Devils hosted an Ohio Valley foe in the seven and one Ironton Tigers on Friday night. In the first quarter, Gallia with the ball as quarterback Brady Fellier rolls right and is picked off on the sideline by John Wiley. The Tigers would march this one right down the field as this drive would be capped off on this stretch play to Jaquez Keys to make it a 7-0 ball game in favor of the Tigers. But on the ensuing kickoff, Gallia returner Hunter Shamblin is able to find a lane and pick up a huge chunk on this return to set Gallia up all the way in Ironton territory. However, the Blue Devils would make nothing of that field position as the Tigers get the ball back. A big run by Keyes would help lead to this Landon Wilson dive for yet another Ironton touchdown to make it a 14-0 ball game Tigers. We move to the second quarter now where Ironton would have the ball back again as this time they take a shot with quarterback Tayden Carpenter who would find Aaron Masters wide open in the Gallia secondary as he would take this one 75 yards all the way to the house to blow this game wide open for the Tigers. The Blue Devils would continue to look for an answer but were left speechless for the most part in the first half as this time Shamblin gets laid out by Jaquez Keys on this big sack to make matters worse for Gallia. The Tigers would continue to pile it on as this tunnel screen to Ty Perkins and the big gain set the Tigers up in the red zone yet again, threatening to score for the fourth time in the first half. A few plays later, Carpenter would do it himself this time as he punches in the sneak for yet another Tiger touchdown. It's 28-0 Ironton. The Blue Devils would look to get on the board late in the first half as wide receiver Kenyon Franken reels in this acrobatic catch to give a spark to this Gallia offense. However, this drive would be put to a halt as this tip drill interception in the end zone keeps it a 28-0 ball game going into the half. Ironton would cruise in the second half to win this game 43-0 to advance to 8-1 on the season. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Cameron Young.